Okay, so we, there we are with the problem that is the data is available. We have the rates, we have the gross rate, we have the direct rate of the US dollar in pound and US dollar in Pakistani rupee. And now we have to see that if the triangular arbitrage is possible and th with the condition that we have $10,000 available on the hand. So this is the strategy that we will be using. We will be converting first dollar into pounds, then pounds to PKR, then PKR to again US dollar. So this because that's why it's called triangle. There are three currencies involved, and we have to move either either this way, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. That depends. Uh, one more thing to tell you is that one route from it will give us a profit and other route will always give us a loss so we have to find out the good route for us that is that is giving us a profit so tip to confirm a uh, triangular arbitrage possibility that if it is possible so should we enter into that all you know work or not is uh, that we should first initially calculate a cross exchange rate this cross exchange rate will help us decide to move further in, into it or not so how you can do that is find the difference between your calculated and banks quoted cross exchange rate so you need to take out the banks quoted cross exchange rate from internet and you have to calculate your own data by fetching it from internet as well and you have to compare both the rates and then you can decide that whether it is possible or not so the thing you find out will be the difference if the difference is there the difference in the values is existing then triangular arbitrage is possible and if there is no difference between your rate and the bank's quoted rate then consider it that triangular arbitrage is not possible so here comes the first step that we are with cross, uh, calculating gross exchange rate. The formula to calculate it is the value of currency A in dollars divide with the value of currency B in dollars. So here currency A and B are of the ones that are not in US dollar, right? So if we move back in our slides, then you can see that the there are two currencies that are not US dollar bills. One is a pound and other is a PKR. So we have to take out the rates for the pound and PKR. Other are traded in US dollars. So we cannot calculate for them the cross rates. So here the value of pound in US dollars because pound is the first currency that we will exchange by selling US dollar. And then the PKR is the second currency that we will sell in uh, you know exchanging the pounds so both of the currencies are not in US dollars so we have to measure them in terms of dollars so if you see in the data the value of pound in US dollar is 1.30 it takes 1.30 dollars to buy one pound and it takes 0 0.0054 to buy one Pakistani rupee dividing it will give us this result which is 240.74 PKR which is our calculated rate it says one pound is equal to 240.74 PKR. So we have to pay 240.74 to buy one pound. Whereas the rate which is given by the banks is 242.82 and it is also available in the data that I showed you here. You can see here 242.82. Okay, so there's a difference and you see the difference is 2.082 it looks tiny but when you have a large amount of uh, cash on your hand so the tiniest differences give a big result so yes the, the triangular arbitrage is possible now i would like you to show that how this rate is fetched from the from the internet so you come here and because this rate is if you see it's in value of pound in pkr right so we write here GBP upon PKR enter and see 242.50 Pakistani rupee it says one pound is equal to 242.50 so we have to pay this amount to buy one pound so this is what we have uh, put in our in our data yes and what we have calculated is value of pound in US dollar so if it is this is also fetched from the internet right uh, from the server so we can see that value of pound in US dollar 
So let's write here USD. Then you can see the rate of one pound is 1.30 US dollars over here. That is confirmed, right? It's 1.30. And value of PKR in US dollar, you can write here PKR upon USD. And you will be able to see that only 0 0.0054 dollars are needed to buy one Pakistani rupee. And that is available in our slides as well. So over this, this is this rate is calculated from our, ourselves and this is the rate which is available on the banks because of few discrepancies or mistakes in pricing well we come to the calculation side now and uh, i would like you to see the first step that we are converting dollars into pounds at the rate of 1.30 okay so this is the rate of buying the pound and we have 10000 ten thousand uh, dollars available and each pound cost us 1.30 so simply we will divide the ten thousand with cost of pound 1.30 dollars so we will get seven thousand six nine two point three pounds on a hand okay so by dividing it we get the amount that we can receive from selling the pound or selling the dollars now these are the amount of pounds that we have on our hand now the step number two is according to the strategy that we have to convert the pound into pakistani rupee is 242.82 which means that for every single pound selling on on selling every single pound we will receive 242.82 so we multiply with the with the pounds and we, we, we are getting this amount which is 1 million 8 lakh and 57 thousand eight hundred and forty four point two rupees now we have pakistani rupee and we have the, according to this strategy we have to convert it back into the us dollar so we will sell pkr and receive dollars so we will sell this amount by multiplying the current rate of dollars which is 0 0.0054 this is the this is the rate that is that has been given to us okay that we will we will receive for each one rupee that we will be selling so the amount that we will receive in dollars will be 10000 0 10086.3 so the thing is that we ended with 10086 we started with 10000 dollars only so the profit is 86.35 so this is how we can earn the triangular arbitrage in the next slide if we if we think about and we say if we went in reverse direction right from bottom to top approach earlier we went from up to down if if i come back to the triangle and if if i show you the sequence like if you consider it as a clockwise like us dollar gbp and pkr okay but if we are coming in a reverse direction like from you we first convert us dollar into pkr then from pkr to buy gbp and from gbp we buy again the dollars so if we can do this thing then what is the impact on our our profit as i already told you that either way if we are going this way or that way one way will always give us a profit another will always give us a loss so we checked one way which gave us a profit which we went uh, in a clockwise manner, in a direct manner, okay, from top to down. But if we move in reverse order, so let's see what happens. So we start with selling US dollar and buying PKR with the same rate, which is $10,000 and buying of the PKR rate is $0.0054. So we will divide the dollars with $10,000 for every fraction. We will see that how many rupees can we gather so it is simply 1 million 8 lakh and 51,852 so now in step number two we will sell pkr and buy great britain pound so we have uh, this amount of uh, pakistani rupee available and the rate for which we can uh, buy the pounds is 242.82 for every single rupee that we exchange uh, for a pound we will get 7626 pounds so out of this amount dividing with this we will get this much amount of pounds so now we have uh, we are available with 7626 pounds we will multiply it with the rate of us dollar that we are here had in the data and then we will get 9913 us dollars which means by selling this amount of pounds we gathered this amount of us dollars so now the finally 
uh, uh, we ended with the uh, 9,913 US dollar and started with 10,000 US dollar. So the difference is minus 86.2, which is negative and which is loss. So as I explained it earlier that either you go clockwise or anti-clockwise, one of the route will give you loss and other route will give you the profit. So the point is that when you are a financial advisor of a company and uh, or you are doing it for yourself so for your satisfaction you can do the other uh, other route as well so that you will be satisfied and confirm that this route is going to give us a loss by which how much amount and this route is going to give us a profit by how much amount so this was all about uh, triangular arbitrage and i hope this was helpful for now i would like to say uh, goodbye and allah hafiz